Hey guys, welcome back to Salem Cellar. So today we're going to be watching the official teaser trailer for Terrifier 3. Now as a mega fan of Art the Clown, I'm pretty pumped for this. So let's check it out. I'll be right back. So I'm pretty excited that this is the first trailer reaction I'm doing in a few weeks. I was away for a week and then I needed time to recuperate after that. So I'm pretty excited to get back in it. And the first one we're watching is a Terrifier teaser trailer. Does it get better than that? No, I don't think so. All right. So I've been hearing a little bit about this. And I know it takes place around Christmas and I've been hearing about the opening scene. Now, a couple of different things I've heard. I'm not going to say it yet because just in case you didn't hear anything about it, I don't want to spoil this for you. But I don't know how I feel about what I've been hearing about it. You know, it's going to be definitely be controversial and upset some people, but that's what Art the Clown does, right? So let's check this out. I'm so excited. So excited. Okay. Aww. So far it feels like very peaceful, like warm, like the holidays. Ow. So cute. Her room is so cute. Like this is such a cute opening <laughs> scene so far. But we know where it's gonna go, right? Ugh. Is that Santa? <laughs> You know it's not Santa. He's thoughtful. He's bringing presents, right? Oh my God, so cute. Just the cute little slippers. cookies oh boy oh boy all right all right so let's let's first talk about his bag all right so he usually has this big black like bag with him right and he had a really nice red one it was it was a nice one I did not expect it to be so clean the presents he's taking out are very clean um all right, so I heard about the opening scene before. I get the people who saw Terrifier 2, rewatched it in the theaters, got to see this teaser trailer before everybody else. Um, I wanted to go, obviously, but it wasn't playing by me, so I couldn't. But so I've been hearing things that, you know, there's a little girl and she comes down and like, you know, like it, next scene, it's like Arthur Clown and there's like blood and guts everywhere. Um, that was, that was hard because I know Art kills everybody. You know, he doesn't discriminate. He kills children, wh whoever crosses his path pretty much. Um, we know this from the second film, but boy, that's raw. It, it's not as bad as I thought because I, I thought I was going to get upset <laughs> by it as a mom, <laughs> just as a person. Um, but no, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was just, hopefully they just don't show it. You know, we know it's going to happen. Just don't show it. <sighs> but you know, they, they want to, you know, cross those lines, but some lines you shouldn't cross, I, I feel. Um, but 
it did look good it did it had that christmas like the santa claus it also reminded me of an episode of supernatural it's not so merry very merry christmas i forgot the name of it but it's like one of my favorite episodes and it's the little kid comes down and thinks it's like santa claus and it's really like a a demigod i don't think it's krampus maybe krampus no i think it's like some t type of demigod or something and ends up like killing his parents um but doesn't kill the little kid but it, that's what it kind of reminded me of so maybe she'll survive i highly doubt it but all right so I know that the new film is going to take place at Christmas. I kind of like that, but a part of me doesn't because when you think of art, you think of Halloween. You have All Hallows Eve, you have Terrifier, Terrifier 2. It's always Halloween. So it's going to be hard to get into Christmas with him, but it's also going to be fun because you're going to see a different side of him. So yes, this is Salem Cellar approved. Anything Art the Clown, honestly, is Salem Cellar approved. I love the character. I think he's amazing. I think he's refreshing. We definitely needed something new. You know, we have Jason, we have Michael, we have Chuggy, we have Freddy, Leatherface. We needed something new. Instead of like remaking all these other movies, it's nice to have a new villain and one that you could, even though he's like brutal and terrible, you kind of love him at the same time because he's just, you know, he's just who he is. Um, and I wonder if they're going to dive more into like the Sienna story, like her father and really what was going on with the second film. I guess we'll see, but I am very excited. 2024 can't come soon enough. I'm pretty sure this is going to be released in October. So even though it's a Christmas horror film, it's not going to be coming out in December, which is cool because I don't think I could wait that long. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this with me and welcome back. Sorry I've been gone for a little bit and a lot more great things to come this season. I'll be right back.